Good morning siblings and welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> I decided to just like vlog today and I want to do a little tour of like all the things I have for my cat and do a little pack with me type vibe video. So just like a vlog. <laughs> First thing I need to do today is my nails. Look at this, that is just sad. And I'm going on vacation to the beach for two weeks. So going to get my nails done right now. I love looking where my cat decides to hang out and right now he's just on my bed. Hi Ace, I'll be right back. Mommy's gotta go get her nails done. I'd bring you, but I don't think I can bring you to the salon. Just got to the nail salon, have my AirPods, hopefully they're charged enough now. Because I've been listening to podcasts, all of like Joe Rogan's podcasts, and they're just so good. So I'm going to listen to that while I get my nails done. Nails beforehand, absolutely disgusting. Here's my nails done. I got yellow, and I usually only ever get black or white. Still got coffin, but I actually love this color, and it's so summery, good for the beach. So I'm excited. It actually started raining while I was in there, so that's kind of unfortunate, but I leave tomorrow to go to South Carolina, so it's all good. But let's go ahead and drive home. I haven't eaten today, it's two o'clock. Once again, that just accidentally happens every day. So I'm gonna eat and give you guys a little tour of everything I got my cat, because I just, I'm excited about my cat, so you guys have to be excited about my cat. You don't have a choice. Oh, he's so cute. He's always just in some random corner, just chilling. Just got out of the shower, my hair is drying. I always put in a bun so it'll like curl better. Nails are done, I'm fresh and clean. I feel like a whole new woman right now. But before I do my cat haul or whatever, which I don't know why I'm so excited about, I just am. I want to do my pack with me because I need to get that done. So here's the deal, I am leaving tomorrow june 8th and coming back june 19th so i'll be gone for 11 days and it's gonna be mostly beach swimsuits so i'm packing all my swimsuits and then just like some shorts t-shirts beach attire let's start packing so every year when i go down to the actual beach i always take my backpack that i usually keep my laptop in but then it gets all sandy and it's just not a good combo so i've decided this year i'm actually gonna bring a beach bag so I'm using this just pink tote for my beach bag and I'm gonna just, you know, keep a towel in here, some sunscreen, water bottle, all the beach essentials. And then I'm gonna bring this fanny pack and put, it perfectly fits my phone, camera, keys, and sunglasses. So then I can just put that in my beach bag and none of this will get sandy. Then I don't have to worry about getting stuff I actually use every day sandy because my little black backpack has sand all in it still from the Dominican and it's just really annoying. This is gonna be so great this year. I just did laundry so all my clothes that I wear like every day are clean and then maybe I'll pack some that I don't wear that often. I'm just gonna start with swimsuits. Just every swimsuit I have is getting packed. The other day I filmed a swimsuit try on haul. We'll see if that ever gets posted or when it gets posted. But um, yeah, packing on my face. <laughs> I've never worn these bottoms. I'm just gonna try them on and see what they look like. Pink will pack. So I don't know how you guys pack, but my process is get everything you want to bring out and then we'll see if you will actually wear it. Now time to try to actually fit everything. And this is like when things go downhill. Okay, I think I actually did fit everything and it fits very well. It's not like overflowing crazy. I could probably even fit more, but we're good on the duffel bag and then I'll just bring my backpack that will have my computer stuff in it. And then I'm just gonna have my beach bag separate with my makeup and like bathroom bag in it. Oh, I'm excited to go, but I'm also so sad because I have to leave my cat Ace here. My dad's gonna take care of him, but like I wanna hang out with him. It's like, it's actually really hard for me, but I'm gonna be okay. I just remembered I still haven't eaten. My stomach is starting to hurt. It's like 
don't get into my eating habits kids now what i was most excited for for some reason is showing you guys all the stuff that i've gotten so far for my cat also if you guys have a kitten or specifically a bangle and you know what they love or what i should get him in addition to make him feel homey and always be entertained and stuff then let me know actually bought was this like one dollar towel at Walmart because when I take him to Dallin's house or we're out and about and there's no litter he'll pee on this and he's already peed on it a couple times so at least he's using it and not peeing on the carpet I'm gonna go get Ace actually <gasps> say hi Ace <laughs> he loves to sleep don't you you're always sleeping all right let's show them what we got you the thing I love the most that I got him is this cat tree it has like this cute little ramp right here. It's got little balls and scratch posts. And he wants to go. Wait, come here. I'm gonna put him up in here. Then I stuffed pillows on the side because sometimes they'll like fall through the back and I don't want him to get hurt. And I got him two of these little toys. They like jingle and they have these little feathers. He likes to play with these. So then I have this like two part cat bowl thing. Let me get closer. So I put his dry food in here and sometimes I'll put his wet food in here. Originally this was for water, but then I discovered that cats, or at least bangles, I don't know about all cats, love little like waterfalls to drink out of. So I got him that and it's like helps keep them more hydrated because it's like fun to drink out of. So the specific dry cat food that I got him is the Purina, Purina Pro Plan because it is grain free and it is high protein, which is what Bengals need. That's what his previous owners got him as well, so I haven't switched that up. Oh, he's moving. Oh, he got embarrassed on the camera, he's going back. He's so confused by this tree right now. So here's my like ace like instruction, so ignore that. But I got him this little brush and I brush him like once a week. And then I actually just clipped his nails the other day with this little nail clipper. They were so long. So every morning I give him one half of this, one half of this Crave wet food because it is grain free and high protein and um, wet food is a good way to keep your cat hydrated. Plus he is obsessed with that stuff. In the wet food, I put this NuVet plus like vitamin powder in it. And then his litter, I've just got this basic like litter cage thing. And it's like a sifter one. So there's a sifter on the bottom and then I can just like sift through. Um, I don't really like it that much. So I'm going to get a scooper for it. But um, in his litter, I use a scent free litter. Bengals are very sensitive to the scent. And over here, I have his carrier for the car. He goes to Dallin's house with me and this, and um, he actually likes it. I tried to zip it because I want him to like start getting used to his cat tree and his other places he has to sleep. He'll always just crawl in his and cuddle, but that's honestly a good thing because then whenever I take him to the vet or just out in general, he loves being in there. It's not something that freaks him out or makes him feel anxious or anything. And in the side pocket, I keep his leash and his harness. I've just got this strappy harness. I want to get one of those like um, like squishy ones that are more comfortable, but for now I have this one. And look how cute this harness is, and it's reflective. It's just got little stars and moons on it. And then I also have some toys in here for when I'm out and about. I got him a little laser. Let's see if we'll play. He's kind of tired right now. Go play. Ooh, you like the laser. And then I have I don't know where it is, but it's like this like stick and it has this feather on the end of it. And I just like, I was doing it with his leash before I got him any toys and I would just like throw it at him and then he'd like chase it. So I got him like a pole stick thing that does it. The thing that I have for him is this. He loves this. It's like a little bed, but it's an igloo and he loves being in dark, small spaces. So I, when I don't know where he is, he's like in the back of this because I can never see him in it. And yeah, that's pretty much all the things that I have for my cat. So basically this half of my room is all my cat stuff and then I 
keep all my stuff on the other side of the room and he just explores everywhere and yeah so we're best friends everything's great and i love my cat in today's video i honestly just wanted to show you guys the things that i had gotten my kitty hi ace he is absolutely the best cat ever he actually um little little devil here swiveled out of his collar so now i can't hear him when he's running around and i keep losing him because he'll hide in the most random places like i don't even know where he is he's just so small He's like, mom, I'm just trying to eat, stop staring at me. Well, this is pretty much the whole reason I did this vlog is because I just wanted to show you guys the things I got him and kind of like introduce him because I haven't really put him in a vlog yet. And I have a whole video coming all about him, why I decided to get him from a breeder and not adopt from a shelter, and why I decided to get a Bengal specifically and all that kind of stuff. So this is kind of my intro into that. And then my next video, I think it's gonna be the next one, is that video. So. That is the end of today's little vlog that I kind of threw together randomly for no reason. And yeah, going on a trip tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, P.S. I made Ace an Instagram. It's ace.bangle. So go follow him because he loves attention way more than I do, which is like saying a lot. Hey.